Hi, everyone. Welcome to this uh, info session about the Global Entrepreneurship Congress uh, in Medellin. This year, uh, the Global Entrepreneurship Congress is taking place in Colombia, highlighting all about uh, Latin America. So let's uh, start here. Basically, we are going to have an introduction uh, about what is GEEK and why it's important for entrepreneurs to attend and what specific plans uh, we have for uh, to help startups, investors, and other organizations attending this Congress. Before before we start, please consider you can ask questions or uh, place comments in the comment section below to this video recording. You can also ask questions through the hashtag LATAM Startups, as you can see here. And uh, then uh, you can also email us your questions to contact at latamstartups.biz. All questions are going to be answered as soon as we finish this info session. So, okay. For uh, those that don't know uh, anything about the Global Entrepreneurship Congress, this is an international event for entrepreneurs, startups, investors, uh, all to share their views and new tendencies. And of course, do a great networking for future business. This is a really massive event, it usually works with the local government where they are holding the Congress. For, for example, this year, uh, the, um, the event is the, the partner is City of Medellin. Uh, this initiative started uh, in 2009 and the, um, in their headquarters in Kansas City. So for you to know, this is not an event just focused in Latin America. This is going to be a global event. You'll find there people from North America, Asia, Europe, Africa, Latin America, and so on. Uh, uh, particularly, I have the opportunity to be in the Global Entrepreneurship Week, and uh, that was taking place in Monterrey in November, and really is really ma massive. And you can see there many, many kind of um, not just a startup, but, but also the leaders of different ecosystems. Uh, in Latin America, the Congress has been held in Rio in 2013. That, that was the first city where they actually started in, in Latin America. So uh, last year was in Moscow. This year has the Congress in Medellin, and it will highlight the progress uh, in the entrepreneurship sector in Latin America and point out uh, how this city in Colombia has transformed itself from an infamous drug dealer city to a tech hub. So... Um, uh, it's important to point out uh, that we all know the city of Medellin has a dark history in the past, but uh, it's pretty much the past. People living in Medellin have worked very hard all together to transform the city. And if you go to Medellin this year, you will see there is nothing you have seen in the news and the movies in the last 15 years. Medellin has been declared the most innovative city in the world in 2012. Uh, this city is like any other big city in the world with a population of 3 million uh, people developing new solutions in different areas. Um, for, for those that don't know Medellin, uh, really is located in a valley. This is a very important city in Colombia. Normally, it's competing with uh, Bogota for, for the attention of international business. Uh, but in the last few years, uh, Medellin has become the tech uh, hub in, in Colombia. Bogota is really important and also has, you know, some tech sectors developing in Bogota. But Medellin really is the city where things are happening uh, more often, like this big Congress is going to take place there. Um, it's also one of the first cities in in Latin America that have uh, a metro and, and the first city in Colombia having a metro, you know, for, for their population. And also it has changed a lot, you know, in, in many sectors, especially those that are like looking for um, projects in the social innovation. This is a great city to, to know about those. But for others, you know, other kind of uh, startup areas, um, Medellin and Antioquia, which, which is the province or the state where they, um, they are, um, are developing also solutions in energy. 
we are going to have a webinar about just uh, about uh, the tech sectors in Colombia, and we are going to deep, uh, give, keep deep information about those sectors and where are the key players in each of those sectors. So for, for now, I'm giving you just the, um, the highlights. Uh, so energy is one of them, uh, health, FinTech and ICT. Uh, that you can see there is Bank Colombia is one of the biggest bank in Latin America. And uh, the, uh, uh, the headquarters are in Medellin, actually. Um, I personally think, uh, personally think this city has a great potential to overcome uh, uh, and, and be one of those uh, tech hubs developing fashion tech. This is an undiscovered but point about Medellin, but uh, I believe this is going to happen soon for them. Okay, but what are you going to see from March 14th uh, to the 17th in Medellin regarding GIC and extra activities we're proposing uh, here? All events in, at GIC are for free, so you don't have to pay anything really to attend. The, there are some events that are invite only, and those usually are for local startups uh, in the community and some leaders of the world startup ecosystem. There are many panels and special keynotes where you can grab excellent information about the next uh, tendencies. I particularly recommend uh, some sessions like um, the business of next, uh, start and driven cities, what's next in the entrepreneurship and the entrepreneurial mindset, and of course the startup uh, Latin America, the path and entrepreneurial cult culture to an entrepreneurial culture. And also you will find that uh, you have the opportunity to, to attend some speed networking. Uh, you can meet there some people of your interest. You, uh, registering in Geek and the website uh, gives you the opportunity to select the sessions that you like to attend. So this is something you need to do with anticipation in order to get the space because all those events are highly in demand and many people try to get space like, right away. Uh, okay, what's extra to these important sessions and what we believe you should take in advantage is that um, to meet as many people as you can in the tech sector. We're planning a train mission there where we are going to organize uh, B2B meetings with the leaders of the ecosystem and a startup ecosystem tour. and you know, um, so you know better the tech hubs, uh, the co-work co spaces and other key players in the city. And a meetup between uh, startups and people coming, um, uh, coming to this train mission. So this is something specific that we are planning, very special for, for those that can attend this, uh, this event. Um, since it's so massive, uh, like we figure out that better, you know, go with a, just a small uh, train mission, and then we can personalize, personalize those uh, plans, and then we can provide, you know, high quality for you guys, uh, for those that are interested in actually coming to, to Medellin, uh, going to Medellin. Uh, if you need really more information about that, you can email us. We can pass to you all the details and logistics around this train mission. Uh, of course, there's no mandatory. Like if, if you want to go to gig and, and just you know attend the free sessions and do your plans by your own, you can do that too. And uh, that's totally uh, cool with us. It's, it's more like a, we love you to go to managing and to see what is the startup ecosystem there because it's one of the biggest startup ecosystems that we have in Latin America. So in case that uh, you cannot attend this year gig, we try to go, well, try to go next year. It's a great event to connect uh, your business with other uh, businesses in the world. There are some other events this year where you can take advantage, do a great networking and expand business. If you need more information to other, about other global upcoming events in the tech sector, let us know. We are happy to provide you information about where to go. And uh, most of those events that are important for you guys here in Canada are taking place, uh, you know, uh, either in the US or Latin America. 
uh, for us, of course, that, that is so important in Latin America, then we can uh, we can refer you some of those events. And there are pretty much three of three of them that we believe that you you should attend, and they are in September, October, November. So you have plan, you have time to plan ahead. So. Thank you so much for attending this webinar. It was a short uh, info session about the event in Medellin. So right now I'm taking questions about, uh, you know, the uh, info session or anything you need to know about that particular event. I'm going to go here to Twitter or the others. Okay. So we think we have here one first question from Frank in Alberta. Okay, how much is the cost uh, to fly to Colombia and how long is it? Uh, for for now, now to the uh, to March uh, that normally it may cost around $1,000 plus, you know, accommodation. For that much that you're going to pay, if you're going to pay $1,000, just, you know, try to stay for a week. Uh, and my particular view of this kind of event, when I, when I travel for events and, I'm, you know, we are part of a, a small organization in general, we, we try to go to Airbnb instead of, um, you know, go to a hotel or something like that. But really, uh, accommodation in, in Medellin is not too high. Uh, I mean, in, in compared with costs in, in other cities in Latin America. So you can, you can get prices around, you know, 110 or $90 per night. Uh, now it's, it's happening kind of like the same that we are having here with the Looney. Uh, the Colombian peso is also, you know, devaluating. So for that part, for those that are traveling with American dollars, this is a good time to go there just because it's so cheap in compared with other years. Um, but yeah, I, I will say, you know, for, for that trip, just kind of try to stay for at least one week in Medellin. And uh, we have a second question from Kira in Vancouver. Where is the next the next gig? Um, really, I don't know where is the next gig. Normally, they they provide that information during uh, you know their their own um, uh, the, the the annual event. So during managing, they are going to provide for sure information about uh, where is the next one. Um, usually, if this year was in Latin America, well, next year, of course, is not going to be in Latin America. So I'm not sure where it's going to be the next one. But whatever is the next one, just uh, try to attend because it's, uh, it's a really good event for networking and to get, you know, potential partners or people that can help you to expand business there. So for now, I think we are okay with the information. Uh, for those that uh, really um, uh, need more information about this event, and we have a great connection with the, um, you know, the organizers and uh, people in Medellin, they, they are great uh, to help you there to, to get your connections. So just let us know. Let us know uh, what do you need to know about that. And if you need uh, more details, we are happy to provide them. And thank you so much for being today in this info session about a gig.